Conveniently located in the middle of District 1 near all of the attractions, you will find the Hotel des Arts Saigon. This is an M Gallery hotel from the Accor Group, a five-star French-style hotel. So let's see what this hotel has in store for us today. Just across the river in District 1, the heart of Ho Chi Minh City, this hotel has a central location that offers easy access to major landmarks like the Notre Dame Cathedral and the Opera House, as well as the popular Bentan Market. It's a really fantastic location, so let's see what the actual hotel is like inside. Because it was Christmas time, there was this very large Christmas tree right in the middle of the lobby. The lobby itself is not very big. But it's well lit and there is a little side area here with a cafe where you can have some drinks and enjoy some time. And after a very quick and friendly check-in in the beautifully decorated lobby, small as it was, we were off to the room. As we had booked a uh, very last minute, almost caught the room that we booked, but after a kind uh, request for an upgrade, we were given a grand deluxe room, even though we booked a normal deluxe room. So I'm uh, looking forward to that. So here we have a grand deluxe room, very nice. A little upgrade from a normal deluxe room. This one has a bar. So I like the fact there's a separate toilet, all in marble. Well, fake marble tiles, but that will do. <laughs> here we have a very cool bath. Look at that. Fancy hot tub in. We were a bit confused whether we should stay at this hotel or at the Sofitel. But uh, I think this one's a bit newer and there's a nice rooftop bar and pool. So we'll definitely go and check that out. And we've got a little sink, some appel, willow bark body wash. Okay, some water, a little mirror. It's a very cool looking tap system here. A full length mirror, although I do have to say that you kind of have to squash yourself into this area here to see yourself. Or maybe you stand back there, I don't know. We have a nice bath towel here, bathrobe. Oh, it's very soft. Oh, that's nice. That's very nice. Very fluffy. Okay, and what's hiding in here? Ah, the shower. Okay, rain shower and a and normal shower head. Mm. Oh, look, that's, that's really interesting. There's an embossed ground thing. It probably helps with the... You know, it probably helps a lot, actually, with the slipperiness of the floor. That's a good idea. So far, it's not the biggest room, I have to be honest, but uh, you are smack bang in the middle of District 1. Now, here we have a very nice bed. I like this bed. It looks very cozy and most importantly, as we all know what I love, is a good view. And from this bed, you have a view. <laughs> <laughs> very nice. Now, let's switch off the lights. Power plug. Some lights, oh there we go. Oh, that's the bottom lighting, okay. Oh, okay, there we go. Everything's gone off. It's like a giant, giant TV screen. Here you have your mini, mini bar menu. We're being lazy, you don't wanna go outside. Oh, look at that. You can even order breakfast in bed or something it looks very interesting some coffee we also have some complimentary snacks dried banana dried jackfruit and uh, some nuts and some fruits fridge look at that you can put quite a few things in this let's see well, lots and lots of inf information we've got a spa i see soins du visage in-room dining. It was in a interesting style, actually. Well, it looks like you've got quite a few options. Oh my God, that is really a lot of options. That's crazy. How many more pages? Overnight menu. Okay. Well, here's the other bathrobe. Oh wow! My mama gonna be happy about this. Oh, that's very fancy now i don't know about you but uh i'm a collector of these for my mom and these are these are, it's uh, which one that one's pink 
Well, for, like a pink one for the girls, it seems, or for, well, maybe I'm gonna get in trouble for saying that. But uh, pink and white ones, you can't see it so well on the, on the video, but uh, that's very cool. In any case, the pink ones are the smaller ones. So uh, yeah, please, nobody bash me for misgendering or whatever. Hair, a Philips hair dryer, for those who have hair unlike me. Does it fit? Nope, it does not fit that way. Yang's two minute review, what do you think so far? You like it? I like it. Yeah? What's the part you like the most? What do you like the most? The bed. <laughs> yes, I'm sure you do. It's the bed part. I know, it's sleeping. <laughs> All right, there you go. It's actually just one room that they've separated, obviously, with a curtain. Uh, yeah, gotta make sure that you don't uh, do too much splashing, otherwise you shall splash over to here. All in all, I would say this is a pretty nice, pretty nice room. And I would say that, you know, having a room like this, because really with this place, the main thing about it is its location. The location is great. So having a nice room like this to retreat to after the hustle and bustle of uh, Vietnamese street life, which I can promise you is one of the noisiest places in the world. You'll be very happy because it's absolutely silent in here. You can't hear anything. All well, the traffic's just down there. We even have a Japanese style washlet. Didn't notice that until I opened the toilet seat. So uh, yes, uh, I will report on that in a moment. I can report that uh, that is not like a Japanese toilet at all because the water is ice cold. Now that I was 100% alert, it was time to go and try out the evening canapes and drinks in the lounge. And I have to say, I thought this spread was really nice. There was a lot of seating, the staff were extremely attentive and friendly, and if you can snag a seat by the window, you'll have some of the most amazing views from any lounge in the world. As for the food, it was all great, delicious, and of course you can help yourself to some drinks, even though they do have their own cocktails that they'll make for you. Next, we decided to go up onto the rooftop bar and enjoy some uh, of the best views around and of course also have a few drinks and listen to some live band music. Now this is just a party at night, of course in the day this is the pool area. Here you can see the pool at night, I'll show it to you later during the day. But I thought the band was pretty good and it was quite a lively atmosphere, quite a good thing to enjoy just a few meters from your own room. Very nice. Now something worth mentioning is if you have a high enough level in the loyalty program of Accor, you usually get a free drinks voucher and that drinks voucher can be used for this rooftop bar. And of course, after having a few nice drinks, it's really nice to just be able to take the lift and be in your room. Here we have the queen of bathrobes. What do you say about this bathrobe? It's very different from uh... The other hotel we went before. It's nice, huh? Very fluffy. Better than the Waldorf Astoria one? No, no. <laughs> the best. <laughs> what do we have here? Sparkling mineral water. I haven't seen uh, free sparkling mineral waters in a hotel here before. Very nice. And you can connect to the TV if you like. There's definitely a good workstation here, I must say. Very, very cool. After really comfortable sleep on the super soft bed, it's wonderful to wake up to a view like this. After enjoying the warm sunshine and this amazing view, it was time to hit the breakfast. I always excited for breakfast is <laughs> now. Now, for some reason, I didn't have such high expectations, but I was absolutely wrong. The food here was plentiful, varied, and absolutely delicious. We both really thought that the food was amazing, the staff was amazing. In fact, the whole atmosphere here felt like some kind of like street side cafe, which is what they've gone for, obviously, and it really works. The fish was delicious, all of the different like spicy curries, and of course, the noodles. What an amazing breakfast. You, there's something for everybody there. Of course, we overindulged in the sweets too, like all the cakes and God knows what. But it's a definitely, definitely worthwhile breakfast. And yet, I regret eating breakfast because 
I'll show you later on. On Sundays, they have this incredible seafood buffet. But first, let's go check out the rooftop pool while the sun's out. Now, in the two days that we were there, we were really surprised to see that the pool area was not crowded at all, even though the pool's quite small. So especially if you get there a little bit earlier, you could have this all to yourself, as those guys in the corner there are having. Fantastic place to hang out, good view, especially when the sun's shining like this, and you could just enjoy the morning or afternoon vibes. Definitely cool. A great place to wind down after a day's shopping. Now, as I mentioned before, I regretted eating breakfast, but that's because there was this absolutely unbelievable seafood and, I mean, everything brunch. I, there were so many things here. It was unbelievable. Look at all these sweets getting laid out here. I mean, the amount of effort that's gone into the presentation is spectacular, and the food looked so delicious. But unfortunately, I already stuffed my face. But I will come back here just for this uh, buffet because it looked so amazing. And I mean, these things look good too, but you know, seafood, all you can eat, just check this out. Oh my God, look at this lobster. Oh, okay. Spiny lobster, king crab legs, prawns, blue swimmer crabs, other prawns, snails, just everything. Unbelievable. Fresh oysters, sushi, sashimi, a whole entire sushi boat. Spectacular. And we mustn't forget this is a French inspired hotel and so there is a whole wine and cheese selection, all types of cheese and cold cuts. Absolutely mind boggling. Something for everybody. Nobody's gonna be sad. This is only on Sundays, the seafood brunch, the only day you shouldn't eat breakfast and come straight here. You will have to wait until 11 o'clock when it opens up, but it's worth the wait. So another fantastic stay in Vietnam. We really enjoy this hotel. The food uh, is pretty crazy. I di I'm not sure why I didn't realize there was a brunch like that. Uh, we just only had breakfast and we did not have any of the brunch, unfortunately. But we are now off to do a bit of fishing and uh, hope you enjoyed that video. Uh, if you like, please like and subscribe and uh, I'll see you in the next hotel review. See you there.